Welcome back to Space Engineers, folks. I went and got some uh, magnesium as well. So we have silicon, magnesium, cobalt, nickel, stone, and some scrap metal that needs to be processed in our basic refinery here. So it's going to be busy for a while, which is great. I also asked the assembler to make some better tools for us so we can build a little bit faster i don't want it in the basic assembler i want it in the small cargo container can you please do that uh, never mind okay so stick this stuff in here and let's equip our better stuff block character tools so we want to equip our better grinder and our better drill and that's it and then we can drop off the not so great stuff and do like that up there okay we, let's grab the synthetic food out of here because we're running a little bit low on that and actually let's make 20 more water more than that and make some synthetic food okay Need to move this water up here. And we can take 10 of it so that we have some on us. And we're getting some food as well. All right. So the plan for today is to go check out that unknown signal over there and then get started on our mining ship. And so let's get this unknown signal. quite far away luckily that thing is moving away from us so we won't be annoyed by that just yet anyway okay, uh, this is one of those that might decide to run away but it didn't luckily no special items got some okay stuff here and let's just grind it down, get the materials from it, we can put them to better use. It isn't that many materials, it isn't that great materials, but it's stuff. So we'll take it. All right. Let's go back home and start building our ship. So that we can move over to the, to the lake and get our real base set up. Okay. Actually, maybe I should just build a cargo ship for now. Because we want to get all of this stuff that we have over to the new base. Ooh, a cargo ship might not be a bad idea. Let's just go have a look at the lake. This way, right? Lake? Yeah. So where do we want the base over here? Hmm. I want to have it somewhere with a relatively nice view, right? So 
It's a bit mountainy around here. We could build it here. We could also maybe go over on this side and a little bit up the side of the mountain. That might not be a bad idea. Or somewhere like this. Maybe. With the view of the lake, of course. Hmm. What about on this plateau over here? Actually, I think maybe I like that. Go right up here. That way we have a view that way and that way. Yeah. And we're still pretty close to the lake for ice gathering. We are going to need a lot of ice, so it might be better to build closer to the lake. I think it is. Hmm. Hmm. I am not sure about this. Because I want to be close to the lake. You know what? I think here will do. So let's put a GPS marker here and say home base. Okay. So that means that what we want right now is a cargo ship. Carry all of our materials over so we can start building that base. Yeah. Let's do that. So first things first, fill up on that. Why is there a thousand steel plate in there? Uh, let's just keep 400 steel plate on us. We need some interior plate. We need some construction components. We need some large steel tubes. We need some motors. And I think that will do for now. Uh, maybe some computers as well. And some metal grids. And we actually want to ask the basic assembler to make some more metal grids for us. And if we just take all of this stuff from the refinery and move down then we won't be complaining that we don't have it. Okay. Let's ask it to make a hundred magazines as well. They will be nice to have. Okay. So, let's see. We want a landing gear, a small one, and somewhere like, ah, dang it, let's just build it on the ground, shall we? Landing gear, 
here. That'll do. Build that up. And then we're going to need some. Let's see. That enough. I think it is. It's gonna be right now. Anyway, anyway, let's stick on our cockpit. Put it there, centered, and we'll stick. Uh, let's build the cockpit because that will open up for some of the blocks that we need, I think. Okay. We need a displays. We need some bulletproof glass as well. I'm not sure how much. And this in there. Take out a hundred of you so we can get some of this bulletproof glass. I don't think that's enough. Nope, we need five more. Of course. But it is functional without it, but I want it to be more than functional. I want it to be complete. Okay. Then I think we are going to build out the base here a little bit. And it's not going to be a pretty ship, but I don't really care about that right now. It's fine. Uh, and that off. Okay. So, building. That should enable us to build thrusters. Yes. We want large and we want regular atmospheric thrusters. So, and this will be a multi purpose ship, I think, because I'll build it so that it's both our miner and our cargo transport. Want, we want it one more back, maybe. Mm. Cause it does impede our vision a little bit if it's there, I think. That's no, not too bad. Let's just stick it there. Sure that it's in the same spot right there. All right. So that's our thrusters. They are not in the same spot. You're wrong. Okay. That's the right spot. Yeah, that's better. Okay, then we want some batteries. I think we want two batteries on this thing. One there. And one there. And I left a space for that, yes. Good, good. And there's an unknown signal coming down. Don't care about that right now. Um, stick in some more base for the ship here. Like so. 
And then we can stick in some sideways thrust here, I think. Three high. And the same on the other side. I actually think I want six of them. So that we have quite a bit of control. There. Uh, five. And stick these in. Underneath. I, yeah. Okay. See how many is that? Four. One, two, three, five. And six. Because here we are going to stick cargo containers. Like that. Hope that's the right way. Like that. Okay. And so let's start welding some of this stuff up. We need a lot more motors. And we need probably a lot of steel plate as well. Okay. Let's weld the sides here. Oops. Uh, Jetpack can be a little bit unruly once in a while. Uh, we can weld these up as well, I guess. Fine, we'll... Once we have uh, thrust and power on it, we will... Uh, we'll lift off and... And, uh, and weld the, the bottom. So let's keep going with this. That's all the motors gone again. More motors, please. Uh, could have some more down here, yeah. I don't think it's enough for all the stuff thrusters though, but we need metal grids and more motors. It's insane how many motors these things need. We need a lot of motors to build motors. Uh, let's do that. Some metal grids as well. And get some of these built finished. Okay. All right. They're all done. And you're done. Nice. Let's get some energy. Come on. Takes so long to power up the suit. There we go. And I guess we could do with some hydrogen as well. Yep. Okay. Now we need uh, some small steel tubes. We need. I'm not actually sure what else we need for... What did she say? I thought someone just said something. Maybe I'm, I'm hearing things. Alright, let's 
make the cargo containers and you need some power cells for the batteries Let's see how many power cells do we have. We have 20, we need more. So let's make 100 more. We don't need 100 more right now, but we will. Okay, we need 20 of them though. Let's do that. We can carry it. Okay, and more power cells. Power cells, thank you. There we go. Then we need some lift and some forward thrust and some downward thrust. So let's get rid of these power cells that we have left over and pick up what do we most likely need. We need more motors. So let's grab as many as we can and we will ask the assembler to make a couple hundred more. Okay, so let's make some downward thrust. Put that here. Maybe one up. Yeah, I like that. Uh, whoops. Maybe also like like that. We don't actually need six downward thrusters, I think, or twelve. It'll be. We just need three or six. So I think. I'll do this and then just get rid of the three on the outside here. All right, six downwards thrust should be enough. Then we need some lift. Which we'll put on the side of this. And pick it. Let's see how. Far does it go down? That's too far down. That's actually too far up. Well, it's going to be like that. Okay, let's get these built. New construction components and motors and large steel tubes. Yeah. So waste and some organic there. We don't need these right now. We don't need that. So construction components, uh, motors, uh, large steel tubes. I think we had some metal grids on us, right? I hope. steel tubes and that's all we need for that large steel tube large steel tube and large steel tube all right so large steel tubes where are you there we have more yes that's definitely enough okay All right, so 
that's backward, left, right, up and down. Then we just need board. Mm. Hmm. How oh, are we gonna do that? I think we'll stick another cargo container on here like that. And then hopefully we can get this on the side. Nope. We cannot. Dang it. Um, hmm. I really don't want another one. I do want though. Uh, oh, I haven't built any conveyors yet, so I can't build connectors and stuff. So let's just build a couple of conveyors. Hmm. Why will you not change your shape? Hmm. I don't need this one, I guess. We need one there, we need one there, and we need one in the middle. Okay, let's try this. Whoops. All right. So that unlocks a connector. And I think we want a sorter. And we want a ejector as well. Because this is going to be both cargo ship and a mining ship. All right, let's see if sticking a connector on here and we need small steel tubes for that. I hope that is enough that we can stick the engines on the side. And I think it is. Uh, yes, it is. But it's going to be rough connecting with the engines there, I think. Let's try it. Like that. We need more metal grids and motors. So let's see. We don't have any more motors. So we'll ask you to make a hundred more. And we'll grab some metal grids. And as many motors as are there. Not enough. All right. Ah, uh, this should be okay for connecting. Just need the rest of the motors. 
That should be enough, I think. Indeed. All right. Now, there are a few other things that we need. We need gyros. And we need an ore detector. And we need spotlights. Okay. Now. Hmm. Where are we going to stick the gyros? I think we'll stick the gyro there and the gyro there. And then we need some space for the ore detector. We can stick that in here. Stick it there. And we need some detector components for that. One, I think. Yeah. And I think we already have one, maybe, if we're lucky. Yes. Okay, and that's basically it. This thing should be flyable now. So let's build a connector over here on this. So we need the large connectors for here, um, conveyors. Air tube. Actually, it's probably not that one I want. Whoa! Whoa! Where, where's. You mini. That's the first time I've been attacked by a wolf. I hope it didn't have cubs. Let's fill up on that. Well, it wasn't as scary as uh, I would have thought getting attacked by a wolf. But it certainly did hurt. Went down to what, 70, 70 health, I think. We need to keep an eye out for those. All right, let's build this thing. Um, seven. All right. I guess it's this one I want. Is this one I can, yeah. It's this one I want. All right, so. I want you. Why won't you turn up? Something weird is going on here. Like that. And then I want you, and then I want you, and then I want you. All right. So we need small steel tubes, motors, and construction components, and steel plates. So, let's see, small steel tubes, steel plates, and we need more construction components. 
make some of those, make some of those, make some of those, make some of those. And let's grab the construction components immediately and get this built. Uh, 27 steel plates. Come on. Uh, 27 steel plates. There we go. All right. So we have a connector. Now let's get in the cockpit of this thing and get everything set up. So we want the control panel. And we want group the batteries. Let's see, uh, we'll call it the minor batteries. We will group up the gyroscopes. Uh, let's call it and call them all minor something. So that we know they're on the same ship. Then we want to group up the all the thrusters. And you, 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 and you. And say minor thrusters. Anything else that needs to be grouped up? I don't think so. Not right now, anyway. So that means that we can go in here and set up, uh, actually let's start with the landing gear and say switch lock. Uh, no, actually let's not do that. Let's put the landing gear over here because we want the batteries to be the first thing that we turn on. Uh, so recharge on off then we want the gyros uh, toggle them on off uh, then we want the thrusters on uh, yes then we want the landing gear which lock and we want uh, let's see, we want the ore detector somewhere over here. And I think that is it for now. No, we want the connector as well. So, which lock? Okay. I think that is everything for now. So, let's all right, unlocking and see if this thing will move and it will quite nicely and in order to lock here I'm gonna have to do this and this is gonna be hard because you have to do the opposite controls of what feels natural uh, need to come down some more. Are we level? No. You're level now. We need to come down way more. There. And that was probably a bit too much. Back up back up and there we go we are locked nice it means that we can switch the batteries to recharge turn the engines and the gyros off and turn that off and one important thing i want to do is go to here and tell the landing gear not to auto lock because that is so annoying when you're mining. I haven't put drills or anything on this yet, I know that. 
uh, but it will be a minor. So there we go. We have our first semi-completed ship and it's ready to carry a bunch of stuff over to where we're going to have our actual base. So very, very nice. And that is going to be it for this time, guys. Next time we will, well, we'll complete the ship, I think, and then we will grab all our stuff and fly over and start building our actual base. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.